Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. Today, Anthony Weiner resigned as a U.S. Representative for New York's 9th Congressional District, which he held since 1999. Weiner, a Democrat, was first elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1998 midterm elections, filling the seat previously occupied by Democrat Charles Schumer, who successfully ran for the U.S. Senate that year. Weiner defeated his Republican opponent by a margin of 66% Twenty-three percent. He was re-elected for six additional terms, receiving fifty-nine percent of the vote in 2010. In the digital age, it's very difficult to cover your tracks when you're sending video, pictures, or documents via social networking sites. This past month, Anthony Weiner was accused of sending sexually explicit photos to several of his women followers on Twitter. In the beginning, he denied it, and in the end, it brought him down. President Obama and Nancy Pelosi encouraged him to resign for the betterment of his party. Let's take a closer look at his resignation speech. I'm here today to again apologize for the personal mistakes I have made and the embarrassment I have caused. I make this apology to my neighbors and my constituents, but I make it particularly to my wife, Huma. I had hoped to be able to continue the work that the citizens of my district elected me to do, to fight for the middle class and those struggling to make it. Unfortunately, the distraction that I have created has made that impossible. So today, I am announcing my resignation from Congress. Yeah! So my colleagues can get back to work, my neighbors can choose a new representative, and most importantly, that my wife and I can continue to heal from the damage I have caused. To repeat, most importantly, most importantly, so that I can continue to heal from the damage that I have caused. I want to thank my colleagues in the House of Representatives, Democrats and Republicans alike, they come from different places around the country, but fundamentally, we all agree. They're all patriots, and I will miss them all. Thank you. I also want to express my gratitude to members of my staff. There are young people who are not paid very much. There are people that work very hard and very long hours. Ultimately, those people define the notion of service. I want to thank, of course, the many people who have helped me, the people who have volunteered, the people who have given me advice, the many of my constituents who have offered me good ideas. And of course, I want to express my gratitude to my family, to my mother and father who instilled in me the values that carried me this far, to my brother Jason, and of course, to my wife Huma, who has stood with me in this entire difficult period and to whom I owe so very much. I got into politics to help give voice to the many who simply did not have one. Now I'll be looking for other ways to contribute my talents to make sure that we live up to that most New York and American of ideals. The idea that leaving a family, a community, and ultimately a country is the one thing that all unites us, the one thing we're all focused on. With God's help and with hard work, we will all be successful. Thank you and good afternoon. Usually it's family members who are the collateral damage. Anthony Weiner's wife, Huma Abedin, is uh, Hillary Clinton's personal aide. Bill Clinton officiated their wedding in 2010 and is pregnant with their first child. Hopefully Anthony Weiner will be able to uh, move on and be able to get the help that he needs to uh, better his life. This is Aaron Herman. Thank you for watching.